Welcome to the lecture series on operating system. So, in our previous classes, we have seen what is an operating system, its organization and how actually it is interacting with the users. Now, in this session, I am going to deliver a lecture on different types of operating system. And basically, I will deal with these 9 types of operating system. Number 1 is mainframe operating system. Second one is the server operating system, third one is the multiprocessor operating system, fourth one is the very popular which we are using in our day to day life is the personal computer operating system. Next comes the handheld operating system. Now, this handheld operating system is very common and popular today because we are now using mobile phones with us every day in every part of our life and for this we are using this handheld operating system. Next comes the embedded operating system. Finally, the seventh one is the sensor node operating system, eighth one is the real time operating system and lastly the smart card operating system. Well, so going to the first type of operating system which is the mainframe operating system. Here, I have given one picture of mainframe operating system, one big computer. Now, this is basically a wonder to the users what it is. It is actually occupying the size of a room. Now, it supports the thousand of devices to simultaneously serve thousands of users. It is really one wonder. A mainframe operating system is also referred as big iron. It is colloquially referred to as a big iron. Now, they are the computers primarily used for the large organizations. We the users of uh, the computers are not using the mainframe operating system. This mainframe operating system is primarily used for big organization, large organizations and they are also used for different critical applications, critical operations like for bulk data processing like sensors, uh, like uh, industry and consumer statistics like enterprise resource planning and large transaction processes which basically uh, happens in banking databases. Okay? So, these mainframe operating systems are used for this large processings. Now, most mainframe computers are sold by IBM. They are the pioneer for this. Basically, uh, the operating system for mainframe, oper uh, mainframe computers are also provided by IBM. Examples of mainframe operating systems are OS 390 and ZOS. This ZOS is the 64 bit uh, operating system for IBM mainframes and they are the successors for OS 390. Coming to the second type of operating system which is the server operating system. Now, these types of operating systems are basically running in servers. So, it is used mainly by the users in a network and it is operating with the client server type of architecture. It provides different services which are basically used in networking like file services, like print services, like web services and different examples of this server operating systems are Linux, Windows Server, Solaris and FreeBSD. Here I have given two examples. Uh, the first one is the Blade Server. Uh, introduced by IBM and that one is the picture for Dell server. The next type of operating system is the multiprocessor operating system. As the name suggests, this operating system is for multiple processors. Now, multiprocessor system is the one which has several CPUs connected with a single system. Now, one central CPU or one single computer system is there with that computer system several CPUs are connected. Now, operating systems 
for multi processor os uh, provides different services like connectivity communication and consistency the examples of multi processor operating systems are windows and linux uh, you can see from the slide that one single cpu is connected with three cpus simultaneously that means the single cpu is serving multiple processors cpu 2 cpu 3 and cpu 4 next coming to the personal computer operating system now we are the people who are using these computers in our daily life we are using our desktops, we are using our laptops. So, the operating system which is mainly installed in these desktops and laptops are the personal computer operating system. Now, this typical operating system is providing a good support to single user and it is also supporting multi programming that means in a single computer you are doing a lot of work together simultaneously that means you may download something from the internet even at that time you can type something in your microsoft word okay so this is the personal computer operating system and the examples of personal computer operating systems are windows we are very much familiar about this windows operating system linux we are also familiar with that and mac os so here i have given two pictures one is for the desktop and another one is for the laptop in both the cases personal computer operating system is used next is coming the handheld operating system so from the name we are understanding that this handheld operating system is basically used for handheld devices the small uh, devices which we can carry from one place to another place. Now, these operating systems are running in PDS, personal digital assistants, and our in our cell phones. Now, these are uh, a sophisticated, sophisticated operating system with the ability to handle different services at a time. Like um, we can receive phone calls like we can take digital photography with our mobile phones etc now this type of operating systems are also running third party applications these are the common symbols for handheld operating systems one is the android this android operating system is uh, nowadays uh, installed in most of the uh, cell phones Symbian OS which was also very famous used by the Nokia uh, cell phones and that is the picture that is iOS this operating system was introduced by Apple for their iPhones. The next important type of operating system is the embedded operating system. Now uh, this embedded operating system is running on the computers. Uh, which are not uh, you can say computers but they are computer controlled devices okay now these devices are not generally thought of as computers and which do not accept user installed software so these are the devices where we are installing the embedded operating system now for example the microwave ovens where we can set the time as well as the temperature the power everything and it will run according to that so it is having some uh, uh, what i can say it is having some computing facility inside it tv set we are having smart tvs nowadays uh, dvd players uh, mp3 players different vehicles etc and examples of this embedded operating systems are VxWorks like QNX etc. The next popular type of operating system is the sensor node operating system. Now before going to the sensor node operating system, uh, we must have an idea about the sensor nodes. Uh, 
these are the tiny uh, tiny uh, devices now a sensor node is basically a battery powered it is running with the help of a battery so it is a battery powered small co small computer with built in radios now they have limited power as they are controlled by battery so definitely the um, power is very limited and they uh, should have the capability so that they can work for long times the operating systems in these sensor nodes have very simple design uh, they must be even driven and to make measurements using clock time periods for example tiny os this is a type of operating systems used in sensor nodes now if you look at that picture you will see that there are different sensor nodes scattered in a forest now these sensor nodes are forming one sensor network which are connected to a single gateway and from that gateway it is connected to a base station so network of tiny sensor nodes must work wirelessly because say in forest there is no such infrastructure so that you can uh, even uh, connect the uh, sensor nodes with wire technology so they must work wirelessly and they should have the capability to communicate with the base station now why these sensor nodes are used number one to guard the national borders maybe to detect fires in forests to measure the temperature and precipitation for weather forecasting this is the utility for sensor node operating systems here i have given uh, the um, symbol for tiny os a very crucial type of operating system is real time operating system now a real time operating system is used in real time computers this is very very uh, i mean important Be, they are used for real time computers for this operating system time is the main parameter we have to consider the time and it is the prime factor now real time systems can be classified into two categories number one is the hard real time system and second one is the soft real time system in hard real time system an action has to happen in particular time duration it is used in industries uh, avionics military etc so you must understand this is very crucial so whenever the event is happening it should capture the different measurements at that time only second time of a uh, second type of real time operating systems are soft real time systems in soft real time systems the actions can be delayed without any side effects so it's not necessary that whenever the event is happening you are sensing the different activities at that time only so it is called the soft real time system it is used in digital telephones and in multimedia systems now uh, if we want to just differentiate what is an uh, hard real time system and what is a, a soft real time system we should understand where the things are used uh, just uh, this is the pre presentation where i have used hard real time systems are used for aircrafts for airport landing services for nuclear power stations for chemical plants and for life support system where time is the critical factor whereas the soft real time systems are mainly used for multimedia and interactive video games examples of uh, this real time operating systems are lines ox rt linux windows c etc the next type of operating system is smart card operating system this is the smallest operating system runs on smart card credit card size devices which are containing the cpu 
central processing unit chip have a very severe processing power and memory constraints. Now, uh, this uh, smart card operating systems are very famous and popular today. Some are powered by contacts in the reader into which they are inserted. But contactless smart cards are inductively powered which greatly limits what they can do. Some of the smart card operating systems can handle only a single function like electronic payments, but others can handle multiple functions at a time on the same smart card. This smart cards are basically Java oriented like Java card, Malt OS, these are the examples of smart card operating systems. So, here completes the different types of operating systems and their examples. Thank you.